Hey everybody, welcome to a Cricut Craft Tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time and hit that bell icon because that will alert you to when I post a new video. Today we're going to talk about how to remove HTV off of your fabric products. So for example, with this one, you can see that some of the letters have peeled off after washing. Um, just so you guys are aware, this is a Cricut white um, a vinyl and it did this to both shirts. So I am removing this and I'm going to redo it with the Caesar Easy Weed Stretch. And I'm also just going to take off the glitter too just so that it's easier and it's done. So I'm going to show you guys how we can use the VLR which is right here. Um, and this is a letter removing solvent is what it's, it's called. You can get this on Amazon. This bottle was I believe about $20. Um, with Amazon, the prices change, obviously, and I will link this bottle below. So let's get ready, and I can show you guys how to take off HTV. So we've got the VLR ready, and what this is, it's a letter-removing solvent. Um, you do want to make sure that you're not doing this directly on a table, so I have a little tub under it. And you can see our shirt here is peeling really, really bad, but not everywhere. I can probably peel off quite a few of the letters on their own. This was, um, to be honest with you, this is Cricut Iron-On. I did this exactly to their specs. Um, this is not the first time this has happened with the Cricut brand. Don't like it. Prefer the Caesar brand. Didn't have any issues with the other shirt I made. Exactly the same shirt with um, the Caesar brand. But, and you can see that the Caesar glitter isn't coming off at all. Now, I am probably going to end up having to remove the glitter as well as all of the white. So what you want to do is take your shirt or your, you know, your um, product, it could be a towel or whatever, and turn it inside out. And I'm going to put it over this little bucket just so that this doesn't get all over my table. But what you're going to do is just take a little bit of the VLR and you're just going to squeeze it onto the back. It doesn't take a ton of it. And I'm going to do the paw print really quick just to show you guys how easy this is because obviously you saw the paw print was not peeling at all. And what we're going to do now is you take your shirt and you just stretch it where you sprayed or I guess squirted the VLR so you can see I'm just stretching it back and forth, back and forth and you're going to flip it over and with any luck, and I will say the glitter is a little bit harder to do so it's actually going to show you really well how easy this is. Look at that, that came off no problem. And you're just going to do that to each one of your little pieces here. And you'll be able to peel all the pieces off and they come off super easy like very little work and you'll just want to put those to the side and throw them out because obviously they're completely useless now but you can see how easy this is coming off I mean this is literally just peeling off no big deal now this one is leaving a little bit of sticky residue behind but that's okay because we'll go back and fix it but now let's go ahead and do the word pet and you just again just squirt some VLR on it and you can do this to the I find it easier to do it to the back of them. Some people do it to the front. I prefer to do it to the back of the shirt. But you can already see it's like lifting it. I mean, this stuff is awesome. And look at how easy this is coming off. Now, you can see the spots where I didn't get the VLR on them yet. So they're not coming off quite yet. But this is so easy to do. And you just peel it. I mean, this, is, this takes no time at all. It'll fix your mistakes. And the best part is if you have cruddy vinyl like this is, you can easily take it off and you'll want to wash the shirt. I always um, wash it right after I do the VLR just to make sure that there's none of that stuff gunk left on it. And then I can make a new shirt, which I think is really nice that you can fix any of these crappy vinyl things that get messed up. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this shirt. Um, and you guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing how easy VLR to, is to work with, but look at this. I mean, here's a, here's a little piece right here, right, that we don't have any VLR on yet. And we're just going to go ahead and squirt her right on there. And you can instantly see it starting to wrinkle, which I think, I hope you guys can see this. It's really hard to tell, but it comes right off. I mean, just like it's nothing. It's so easy. And like I said, you can do this on the front or the back. With the glitter, though, I do suggest doing it to the back because the glitter is a little bit thicker than the regular um, HTV. So doing it on the back will give you a little more, but we'll go ahead and squirt it on there, let it sit a little bit. And this is a great way to fix any of your mess ups. You can also use a Q-tip if you've missed a spot, um, weeding or things like that. You can easily 
get the vinyl off just by putting VLR on it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Hit the bell icon. That will alert you to when I post a new video. I hope you guys had a fun time and happy crafting.